don't miss any upcoming map drawing video. So make sure you have clicked on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell. Also, you can check my older videos, all my other videos listed here, and uh, you'll probably find videos that you haven't watched yet. So, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your fantastic support. Hi. Today I'd like to talk about meditation and uh, I'm going to show you how I do when I meditate. And uh, that's going to be a 20 minute long meditation session at the end of this video. But first, I'd like to talk about uh, how I discovered meditation and um, why I will tell you and talk a bit about why I meditate and what I think it could be good for its benefits and everything. So, um, I discovered meditation quite recently. I have um, tried it a couple of times, um, but I've never done it uh, like regularly before. Um, but um, I've tried it uh, in mindfulness classes that I tried a couple of weeks, a couple of years ago, and um, I tried uh, some kind of meditation in yoga yoga class. That I I've, I've tried yoga a couple of times, but it's also something that nothing I I've, I've done uh, regularly. Um, but then in Ashtanga yoga that I have tried a couple of times. Uh, it ends with this meditation part where you when you're lying down and just uh, try to re relax and meditate um, but um, for quite a long time now I felt that I have to do something about my brain actually it's just not cooperating with me um, and it's this has been going on for a couple of years now, but I, now I felt during the last maybe six months or so it's kind of escalating and I need to do something because um, I started to feel actually that we're, and I think this is a good thing too, a good conclusion, that uh, we're two separate individuals. It's me and it's my brain and um, I just uh, noticed that we don't want the same thing I I really have a like if I wake up in the morning and I'm gonna say me I then it's my body not my brain <laughs> um, then I can feel like Oh, I have a lot of energy now. I have slept all night, and now I want to. It's a nice day. It's sunny. Let's just go out and run, maybe move, um, exercise, and then it's like 
my arms and my legs and my body it has like a lot of energy that it wants to spend but then my brain says just no I'm too tired it's been a terrible night and I I haven't I have worked all night um, I'm aching and I just want to rest so just lie down in your bed and uh, uh, close your eyes and uh, I need to rest and um, this dialogue is going on all day like uh, maybe I can um, suggest that uh, oh but uh, we had a great idea a couple of days ago maybe we could start working on that it, w it will be a nice uh, thing if we used to work a bit and it would be great result and my brain is like no 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 I have no energy for this at all I just I can't look on a screen um, it's, too, it's too light it's giving me even giving me even more headache and um, pain and please just close your eyes lie down and uh, rest that's, that's what I need to do and um, maybe I want to yeah, go outside or I want to maybe see some friends I can call, call some friends we haven't seen a friend for ages now that would be nice to do something tonight perhaps and my brain just no, no, that's not a good idea uh, it will just cost a lot of money. They will take you to some fancy restaurant or something and you will lose all your money. And um, you won't get any more money ever because I'm too tired to work anyway. Um, but then I realized, okay, my brain is not cooperating at all. Um, and uh, I guess my brain is depressed actually and I need to do something about it um, and I, I did try a couple of times to go to see a doctor and I tried some antidepressive med medicine but only for a couple of weeks and I because I really felt that really strong feeling that I didn't like this I don't want to do this and I don't want to continue so, and maybe two or three different medicines I've tried uh, during the last uh, five years or so. Um, so, but I think maybe it helps a lot of people, but I don't think it's anything for me. And I want to do something else. I want to solve this problem in some other way. And I, yeah. I uh, started this ASMR channel, I start watching ASMR and a lot of things, but recently I felt, yeah, I have been thinking about meditation, but it also I have been thinking that I don't have, yeah, my brain has said, of course, has protest, pro <laughs> protested and said that, no, no, you're not going to make this it's uh, too difficult to learn and you have to be really focused and um, you have to do it right and you're just gonna fail so it's no idea you try this um so okay i didn't do that because my brain has uh, still had have, have, has had the control over me for a long time but uh, a couple of days ago, it was three days ago, I just felt that this, uh, this had been going on for a really long time now. And no, I need to do something. Because I can't just lie down in my bed with closed eyes, like for the rest of my life. So I just googled, it was super easy, I just googled how to meditate. Um, and um, the video that I found that was the 
the first uh, hit and uh, that was called how to meditate of course and it had three million views and um, it was from someone called um, now let's see actually ac actualized dot org I think it was 35 minutes long and it was from 2014 I think so I just started to watch that video and I couldn't stop watching. I mean, I saw it from start to end, couldn't um, keep my eyes from it. And it just felt so right. I mean, I immediately felt that I want to try this and I did it. And. Um, it immediately felt right after I tried it once and I felt like okay I don't want to see more um, videos about this or read books about this I don't need anything more this is just all I need this 35 minute really well done introduction to meditation so I I strongly recommend you to see it if you're interested um, and uh, I completely get this. It's super simple and it's something that I... It's so obvious I need to do this. And um, what I found out was that uh, before when I tried some kind of meditation, it's been more like relaxation and you lie down and it's been guided, like a body scan, things like that, that you have someone telling you what to think about and not think about and focus on and maybe this could be good for many people but I always felt like I have to perform something then uh, that I and that I fail I have a lot of thoughts that uh, I'm not doing this right and oh I, am I relaxed enough oh this muscle here isn't it some tense in this one oh um, this can't be right and a lot of worries so it hasn't felt like something I want to do that I want to do every day for example but now after seeing this video I kind of understood the essence I think of meditation or how what I would what, what it could be good for for myself and that's um, of course it's absolutely not about performing that you have to do it right or that this is what you, what the meaning of it is, um, because I think it, the meaning is the purpose of it is that you're practicing and you're training your brain, just like you're training your body when you're exercising and when you're um, running or doing sports or anything, and that's something everyone knows. You have to exercise. You have to move you have to train your body because then you feel that that's healthy and you're happy when you do that and it's something you need as a person and this is just the same thing but with the brain so you have to practice to don't you have to practice to have control over your brain so you that you're mastering your brain and um, that it it's not the opposite, so it so so the brain doesn't um, get control of over you instead. So, um, so it's nothing. It's not easy, and it doesn't. You don't have to feel that you have to a accomplish some something or um, perform something or doing something right or like I have to have. I need to have like it be to, uh, totally clear in my mind and don't think of anything and as long as soon as I have a thought I have failed that's not how you how you're supposed to think about it so it's just that you're training to have as short train of thoughts as possible so during these 20 minutes that you're focusing on this you're actually 
it's not about relaxation at all. It's about it's, it's super. You're super focused, and it's training, and it's something that it's really hard, and you're exercising, even though you're not moving at all. But you're. I mean, it's really hard work what you're doing. But it's in introvert <laughs> instead of extrovert. So um, what you do is you try to think of nothing. But it's impossible, so you have all these thoughts coming up, and you notice the thoughts, and you try to leave, leave them as soon as possible. So, And the, sometimes a thought will come back, because it's really something that annoys you, or that you knocks on you, <laughs> that want you, want your, wants your attention. But then, um, then you just realize, oh, that's how it is now, this is a thought that really that's really bothering me. But I try my best to just uh, drop it and pick up the next thought. So actually having a lot of thoughts is not, it's not a bad thing because if you have a new thought that means you have left the old thought um, behind. So that's really, that's really a good sign actually that you're doing this right. So the more thoughts you have, the more different thoughts you have, the more, the better you are, you're becoming better at uh, dropping thoughts. So, uh, I must say, I have, there are so many thoughts when I do this, but I'm, the thing is that I'm focusing, focusing and I'm practicing and I'm trying to be better at leave thoughts and um, focus on new things. So, and what I've heard is that you by doing this you learn to be more productive and creative and I can really see how creativity is um, connected to this because you you practice to leave old um, way of thinking and uh, you practice to welcome new ideas all the time so my method has been um, uh, it's been a lot about uh, I'm focusing on colors actually. I'm um, close, I close my eyes, and then the thoughts start coming up. And I try to focus on a color. I'm focusing on breathing. I'm focusing a lot of breathing, and I'm focusing on colors. So it's basically those two things. Um, and I try to breathe, really take deep breaths. And then something that I have learned in the yoga class. So I take there are some things even though I haven't uh, continued with yoga because that's uh, it's too much effort I think for me it's nothing I can do regularly it, it won't happen. So but th something I take with me is uh, the breathing that you breathe. There's a special kind of breathing where you, where you like. It's a loud breathing, so you can hear hear the bre uh, the breath. Because when you do have this technique, you the the breath the breaths gets uh, tend to get uh, longer, and that's a good thing. I think I I I really like when when you notice you have really long long breaths, and um, so it's a. Uh, Normal breathing is like this. You always breathe through your nose, or, or I do. And then, uh, if you're making a, no a sound, like a tone, then it's. Mm, mm, and then we have something in between. It's lo almost like you do something here with the glottis, I think it's called. Uh, but then it's like. Uh, almost like whispering but breathing so it's and you can already now notice that the breaths are taking much longer time but you really feel really really relaxed while doing this so i think it's a good method for me so You can see if you can try to find this this um, 
way of breathing. It's not complicated at all. It's just you have to find it and um, try it. Uh, and sometimes I notice when I meditate, I, I it tend to tip over to like a, a tone or a sound. So almost like snoring and I just noticed that it, it's happening it's nothing I I plan to do but it's uh, something that happens when I when I focus on breathing and it's actually helping me because uh, it help, helps me focus and it distracts me from noises sounds around me and um, because I really hear this sound I hear the the, the breathing sound from the breathing and it helps me in that way uh, so it's the breathing and it's also the colors that I focus on with closed eyes you can always find you see it's easy to see a lot of patterns but it's not a clear color it's most very blurry and it's a lot of but you can start to just uh, think of a color and see if you can if you can notice it in this all this blurry blurry pattern or it doesn't matter what color you think of you can just I usually think of a color wh while I breathe in and then focus on that color while I breathe out um, and um, yeah you have to find your own method I guess but it, it's just something I do for distracting me from this train of thoughts and all these worries that I get I worry a lot <laughs> um, and um, I noticed that uh, some of these worries are are coming back over and over again while I meditate it's in the beginning I was worrying about hmm, if I'm gonna do this every day from now on how it's gonna be in those days when I'm not home alone when I'm maybe visiting family or friends and I have to find a place to meditate and what will happen if they if they um, <laughs> I mean if they want to contact me in a way or like knocking on the door or coming to the room or what will happen and it's so you get really get um, it's a I really see that you're practicing have control over your thoughts and your mind because you really realize oh no it's the same thought again why am I thinking this over and over again it's so ridiculous I can just drop it and uh, if it happens in the future it's not even uh, sure it's gonna happen it's not uh, it's just the theory I have and if it will happen then I can take it from there but I don't have to think about it now um, so you really it it you really can see that the mind is not smart at all <laughs> that is playing these tricks on you all the time and uh, I got the idea to to make this video yesterday, so this morning when I was meditating, I was thinking a lot of hmm, am I gonna have this in the video and so I was start, was starting to get like ideas and planning and that you of course you're not supposed to do that as well and I thought oh no I can think of it of this during the whole day but not now it's 20 minutes it's nothing I can why can't I just focus but I mean it doesn't you don't have to blame yourself because you're practicing and but it's just fun to notice these things that uh, that uh, the brain is playing tricks on you all the time even on those 20 minutes and I think 20 minutes each day is just nothing so of course you can spend 20 minutes a day on meditating because I think you will get so much from it much more than 20 minutes you will have in in time where when you're not as tired as you usually are and you're not as um, yeah I, th I just think it's so many benefits on d doing this so I'm gonna try continue doing this for 30 days now that's uh, a challenge that I really want to try um, and I guess 
you will start seeing results possibly probably but it will take a lot of time so the results are really not the the purpose of this so it could take maybe two years before you notice that you oh but now I had one minute when I was thinking of nothing at all maybe it will take that time so that that's really not what you what, what you will start to reach for now the the thing I will start to do is just practicing 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 not to just grab the thought and drop it and focus on the colors uh, and it feels really great after 20 minutes I, I feel quite relaxed actually it's like even though I can't see a result just when you go to the gym for just one time you can see a result but you can somehow feel that it was good for you and um, that you're a bit more relaxed or non-anxious actually and that the day will be a bit more easy to go through so I guess that's my reason for meditating starting to meditate and uh, so um, what I do is um, that I have my phone the timer put the timer to I set the timer to 20 minutes and um, also I sit in a half lotus I think it's called by the way I forgot to mention that um, some people might may think that uh, meditation is like a religious thing or so and it's abs absolutely not I mean you don't do anything like that or you don't need to do anything like that it's something completely separate from I, I mean you don't need any stuff or any <laughs> like crystals or lights or anything it's you just need somewhere to sit um, and you it's you're not supposed to 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 sleep that's not the purpose at all so you should not lie down but you could sit on a chair of course if you preferred that or um, um, it could be a good idea to have to not support your back so that you you pr you practice to to have your back like straight like this and um, also you could think of um, an invis invisible string that holding your head in this position so you don't end up sitting like this so you should be have a really straight spine um, but then of course you can change position and you don't have to think like I did in the beginning or before I saw this video I was thinking oh I have to like control all the impulses so I, I, I can't I really want to clear my throat or I really have to swallow but no I shouldn't because that's then I'm failing but of course just do if you have an impulse you have to clear your throat or you have to uh, change your position a bit or you have to uh, swallow or anything then of course do it because then you can leave that thought behind and that's the whole idea you have to leave thoughts and just move on so I do that a lot of time I just clear my throat and you don't have to feel you you must sit completely still all the time but I used to have uh, some support for my hip and my feet actually because otherwise it could hurt after a while or get at least get a bit uncomfortable so I just have this mat and the two pillows and the phone so let's start with the and of course the phone has to be in silent mode and um, the signal that will wake you up must be <laughs> It, it doesn't it can't be too annoying it has to be a bit uh, like relaxing I guess so choose something okay let's start the 20 minutes
Okay, so that was the the twenty minute session for today. And um I thought about a lot of things. Uh, mostly <laughs> maybe not so surprising. I was thinking about what how to end this video if I wanted to say something more what I would like to say and then the second thought after that was oh but I can talk about uh, that I thought about um, how I could end this video just like I'm doing now so it really <laughs> just went on and on in, with the layers on the top of each other like um, but I, I really tried to stay focused and drop that thought, even if it returned afterwards. Um, but I focus on colors, and sometimes I took an object. I took a uh, beetroot now, quite recently, and then I focused on the beetroot. Uh, I don't didn't want to think about the beetroot too much because then you get associations and you start to think about stuff and uh, imagination. So then I, s I what I do my technique is that I zoom in to a specific object and just see the color and focus on that color. And if you decide, okay, I will have this really deep uh, bluish red color now in my mind. And then um, you see all this when you close your eyes. You see, actually see the back of your eyelids and all the colors there. It's like uh, you have mixed all the Play-Doh colors. It's just a really non-precise color, non-specific color, grayish with some um, greenish, bluish. Uh, brownish I'm not sure um, but then you can actually see if you can find that color you had in mind in the all this pattern and um, if you can't it's okay and uh, one time I actually managed to just think about this unspecific color and not label it but still think about it focus on it that was that felt really like I got something there that could be great meditation moment perhaps that you don't even have to label something you just focus on it but it's just like fractions of seconds then it's another thought so but, uh, I think it's interesting to practice doing this because you get to become aware of how the mind is playing tricks on you all the time and you don't have to follow you don't have to follow your mind and your brain and do as it said say all the time you can control it you can master it you can say this is not important this is something you it would be better if i if you just stopped and i move on and do something else do something better with my time I will mm, um, yeah so I think it can be good for a lot of things creativity creativity positivity to, f to be happy feel happy with the present all these things also are spoken about in this video that I mentioned that I really strongly recommend that you watch if you're interested I think this could be something for you um, but I mean I should think it could be good for a lot of things I even actually when I breathe take these long breaths and I feel I in some moment I don't I feel that okay now I'm focusing now it's n I don't have any old thought can really feel that happening sometimes and then actually you can get like tingle feel tingles and uh, like uh, goosebumps um, so it's kind of relaxation could be and also I think it could be good for headache 
preventing headache and get rid of headaches because also when you breathe you get a lot of oxygen and um, um, help you sleep better I think at least uh, I, th I think it can be good for st staying alert and not have to sleep all the time you can stay up longer uh, actually that's what happened to me the first time after my first uh, I tried this for the first time it was so much energy directly but maybe it was <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't know why but uh, I just uh, almost felt I didn't have to sleep that night so I just slept for four hours and woke up really I mean I, I felt I really had rested enough and but then <laughs> that day it kind of cra I kind of crashed actually so so it was some, some backlash there and I got headache and I had to sleep for like 12 hours the next the next night so but it surely happened it, it triggers something it happens something happened and it can be good for you uh, I think but it's not completely clear exactly what it is so like this in the beginning so you just have to give it I, I guess 30 days is a good challenge to start with but try to do it every day uh, for 20 minutes of course you can try to do it longer as well but I think 20 minutes is a good start and uh, so you won't it won't take too much of your time and uh, so, so it's easier for you to do it regularly every day so yeah if you want to try it and uh, put a link to the video I watched three days ago and the reason I started to do this and tried this I decided to start doing this I should say um, okay thanks for watching and um, yeah good luck Sleep well, be well, bye.